And good evening, and welcome to St. Catherine's as we celebrate our fourth confirmation today. Our celebrant for this evening's Mass is Father Dennis, and celebrating with him is Father Fred. And just a reminder, this Mass is being live streamed. If someone you know could not make it, um, you can feel free to text them or let them know uh, to watch it on our live Facebook at this time, let's now, as a family of faith, let's take a few moments to greet and welcome those around us. Let's stand and worship together with our opening song, The Litany of the Saints. Oh 
we give them a sign of our affirmation.
in some ways, coming to understand and appreciate confirmation is a journey. It's a lifetime of us being more and more appreciative of the role in the Holy Spirit in our lives. Uh, one of the uh, uh, one of the sponsors was commenting about how at this stage of his, he appreciates confirmation more fully than he would when he, when he was first confirmed. So that indeed it is a journey, and this is part of our Christian journey, is the sacrament of confirmation, the sacrament of the Holy Spirit. Now, you've been preparing. You have been preparing uh, uh, by doing uh, different things so that we had a day of the Spirit. It was a virtual day of the Spirit. Uh, it still went well, and you were there online, maybe next to your sponsor. And you got a chance to know your sponsor a little bit more. And a few of the sponsors commented, and they said, uh, you know, I got to know a little bit more about this person who I'm sponsoring. And it was really neat to kind of learn, you know, kind of share our faith with, with each other. So that's, that's something special that you did to really get to know your sponsor. And you know, to say a word to the sponsors, it's an honor and a privilege to be a sponsor, okay? And with the honor and the privilege, uh, you also have a responsibility. You have a responsibility of setting a good example for your confirmation. So set that good example seven days a week as a person of love, as a person of prayer, as a person who worships the Lord on Sunday. All of that is part of being a good sponsor and the responsibility that comes along with the privilege. And then we have our, our students. And our students did service projects. And uh, a variety of service projects took place. Uh, maybe it was uh, visiting nursing nursing homes, maybe writing letters to, uh, to the elderly, or maybe it was just as simple as uh, coming for uh, church cleaning for Easter and uh, uh, cleaning the inside of the church and picking up the litter on the outside. Even though simple tasks are important. So that service reminds us that we are all called to serve one another. And that by doing that, we give witness to our faith. Holy Father, Pope Francis speaks about giving witness to the faith. And that's what Jesus did when he died on the cross for us. He died on the cross for us that we might have eternal life. But he goes on to say that uh, there is also the everyday witness that begins in the morning when you wake up and ends in the evening when you go to sleep. It seems like such a small thing, he said, but miracles are done through small things. And then Pope Francis says that Christian witness must be grounded in humility. And then, Pope Francis says, he says, uh, which means, said by being simple salt, and 
and through the infusing of the Holy Spirit, may you, our Confirmandi, give witness to your faith by being salt and light to your family, to your friends, to your, to your neighborhood, by being salt and light for others. Now, I ask those to be confirmed to please stand. And I'm going to ask you to renew your baptismal promises. And when you were baptized, your parents and godparents spoke for you. Now you renew your baptismal promises yourself. So as you do so, I know you got your masks on. But really do your best to speak it out to really affirm your faith. So, do you renounce Satan and all his works and all his empty promises? Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary? suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? And do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who today, through the sacrament of confirmation, is given to you in a special way, just as it was given to the apostles on the day of Pentecost? Do you believe in the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? Now, this is our faith. This is the faith of the church. And when I say we are proud to profess in Jesus Christ the Lord, you're going to say amen. So we are proud to profess it. in Christ Jesus our Lord. Shout it out. Amen. Now I ask you to remain standing, please. Dearly beloved, let us pray to God the Almighty Father for these his adopted sons and daughters already born again to eternal life and baptism, that he will graciously pour out the Holy Spirit on them, to confirm them with his abundant gifts and through his anointing to form them more fully to Christ the Son of God. So now, Father Fred and I are going to extend our hands in silence to pray for the Holy Spirit to be with you and to share his gifts and fruits with you in a special way.
Spirit of God, grant me to get the wisdom to see the world through your eyes, to get the counsel to make difficult decisions, to get some knowledge and understanding, to use my mind to know you and to love you, and get the fortitude to have the courage to live in the faith despite the difficulties and disappointments, to get the piety to be able to express my special love and commitment to you and the right kind of loss of fear that makes me pause to wonder and revere God's love. And now we have the moment of the celebration of the second confirmation. And just to explain how we will be doing this, uh, we have had here who will be ushering the Kafamani and his or her sponsor to the center of the aisle. And then uh, the Kafamani is going to come forward and stand on the first circle in front of me. And then the sponsor will stand on the second circle and extend your hand. Now normally what we would do is that the sponsor would be right behind the confirmandi and place his or her hand on the confirmandi shoulder. But because of COVID-19 and distancing, that's how we have to do it. The other thing that would normally happen when the bishop is doing this, the bishop would take his thumb and really wet up and get his thumb really oil, oil oiled up in the sink of some oil and really uh, put it on the forehead of our confirmandi. And as he did that, he says, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Well, we, we can't do it that way because we're touching people. But what we're going to do is we can use a cotton ball or a Q-tip. So now we're going to use a Q-tip, a clean Q-tip for each person. And then what I ask you to do is after the Saturday, is celebrated. Whatever our side of the church you're on, go back by the way of the side aisle and sit at the end of the pew. Okay. And if you, you know, if your hair's a little long, there are help me, just gonna pull it back, okay, when when you come up. Your glory, God, is what our hearts long. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick in mind, body, or spirit, that they know the Lord's healing presence, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our families, that we will be united together in Christ with all who have gone before us, marked with the sign of faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the souls of all the faithful departed, especially Mark Sobinski, Carol Moore, and all those from our own family and parish who have died, through the mercy of God, that they will rest in peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O God, who gave the Holy Spirit to your apostles, and will that through them and their successors, the same Spirit be handed on to the rest of the faithful. Listen to faith to our prayer, and grant that your divine grace, which was at work when the gospel was first proclaimed, may now spread through the hearts of those who believe in you. In Christ our Lord. Amen. Now please be seated. Ascending above. 
above all the heavens and sitting at your right hand, he promised, he poured out the promised Holy Spirit on your adopted children. Therefore, now and for all ages, unending, with all the host of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, cry out as we look. And let us pray. 
in the words that Jesus gave us. Our Father, the Lord, As Catholics to receive our Lord in Holy Communion is very special. If you are not of the Catholic faith, for some reason you should not be receiving, uh, you just cross yourself and we will give you a blessing to come forward. That is, if you're a visitor, I'll explain how communion is done here. Uh, we have two ushers. The ushers will uh, have them come out to the center aisle and just follow from one line. Yourself separated and we're going to spray your hand with a sanitizer. Rub it in good, okay? And then what's going to happen is if you're on this side, you're going to come here. I will be standing here. You come to the circle. Mass is still on. Receive our Lord in your hand. Amen. And then you're going to spin around. Then you're going to come over here. Pull your mask on, receive Holy Communion, and then go back by way of the side aisle to your pew.
Justice Mass is being streamed Facebook Live for those who might be watching from home and not receive communion. I will pray an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are really present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. And since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. And this is the year of St. Joseph as declared by Pope Francis. So let us pray together the St. Joseph prayer. St. Joseph, watch over me and care for me, just as you care for the child Jesus. And by your help, may I come to know your son, and so grow in strength and wisdom and the favor of God. Amen. Now I congratulate our confirmandi, no longer confirmation candidates, but rather confirmandi for those who have been confirmed. And just a few little things to say. We do have the bulletins available in the back of the church with all the confirmandi names. Bulletins. So you're welcome to take one or more bulletins because this is the last confirmation for uh, the four days. So that you will not be taking uh, bulletins that someone else may need. So take as many as you would like. The, uh, in terms of how to uh, process out of church, please pay attention. Uh, Pat, Pat Kerrigan uh, will be having you come out of your pew, starting from the back, uh, one row at a time. So those up front, please be patient. And speaking of Pat Kerrigan, uh, he has been here all four nights, all four evenings and afternoons, uh, helping out. He's the man in the back, the blue shirt, so why don't we thank him.
And may the Holy Spirit, who kindles the fire of charity in the hearts of his disciples, bless you and lead you blameless and gathered as one into the joy of the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God, Almighty God bless all of you who are gathered here in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace and love, confirmed in the Holy Spirit. Thanks be to God.